Welcome back. Today we'll discuss the Council of Chalcedon, which took place in 451 AD. Today we'll look at what was concluded at the Council and the effects it had on Christianity. The previous council we discussed was the Council of Ephesus that took place in 431 AD. The council itself was a debate between Cyril's sect of theology and Nestorius. Cyril believed that Jesus was fully human and fully God, and that these two natures of Christ made him one person in the Trinity. This is now commonly called the hypostatic union. From the records we have, Nestorius believed that because Jesus had a human nature and a divine nature, this made him two persons and not one. After the council had convened, and even the Roman Emperor Theodosius II got in on the matter, they concluded that Nestorius was a heretic, and of course anyone who followed his teachings were considered anathema, or excommunicated from the church itself. A new view came into the picture, it was called monosphytism. This view was proposed by Eutyches in the early 5th century AD. His view of Christ went against the hypostatic union, as Eutyches believed Christ's human and divine nature became one nature. In fact, from some contemporary writings, he once said, One nature of the word incarnate Jesus, but not two. Another potentially disputed saying of Eutyches goes as such, The divine nature swallowed up the human. As we will see, this belief, where the divine nature overpowers Jesus' human nature, will become the real subject of debate. After many people in Constantinople started to accuse Eutyches of heresy, they convened a local council in 448 AD, which was led by Flavian, who was bishop of Constantinople. This local council condemned Eutyches as a heretic and had him exiled. After this whole situation, the Roman Empire, Theodosius II, wanted to have peace among the theologians and the bishops, and so he called for the Second Council of Ephesus. This Second Council is also called the Robber Synod, as the majority of Christians at the time rejected its teachings. The council was presided over by Dioscorus, Bishop of Alexandria. As the council went on, Eutyches convinced Dioscorus that he had repented and Dioscorus accepted him back in the church. As well, in a turn of events, Dioscorus convened in the council to have Flavian, the bishop of Constantinople, excommunicated for excommunicating Eutyches. The council itself was dominated by Monocytus, and it was reported that Dioscorus used aggression to get his way. So much so that a couple days after the council ended, followers of Dioscorus beat up and killed Flavian, the original bishop of Constantinople. After all this had happened, the next Roman emperor, Marcion, wanted a true council to be convened to figure out this theological mess. The place they chose for the council was Chalcedon. This was located near Constantinople, which was the current capital of the Roman Empire. The council itself was to be convened in 451 AD, and over 500 bishops were to attend. Pope Leo the Great did not attend the council himself, but he sent representatives whose purpose was to read his letter which upheld the hypostatic union, or in other words, that Jesus had two natures but was one person. The letter was supposed to be read at the original second council of Ephesus, but Dioscorus didn't allow it. The letter was called Leo's Tome, and it was studied by all the Christians at the Council of Chalcedon to see whether it held to Orthodox teachings. After they compared it with the writings of previous councils and Cyril of Alexandria's writings, they confirmed it as authoritative for the Council of Chalcedon. The Roman Emperor Marcion as well asked them if they wanted to submit a new creed for the council, but the bishops of the council all declined to make any new creed as they thought the writings of previous council and Cyril of Alexandria's writings expressed the clarity of the hypostatic union already. Finally, after all the debate, Dioscorus of Alexandria was deposed of his position as bishop and was considered a heretic for teaching that Jesus had only one nature. He as well was exiled to Gangra, which was in Asia Minor or modern-day Turkey. The Council of Chalcedon finally considered monosphytism or the teaching of Eutyches as heretical. The council as well reaffirmed that Nestorius' teachings were still heretical as well.
Since the teachings of Dioscorus, or the idea of Jesus having one nature, were considered heretical, the Council of Chalcedon completely rejected the Second Council of Ephesus. The main reason is that the Second Council proposed a heresy, and as well the Council was unfair, as it didn't voice Pope Leo's letter, and it well used aggression to get its way with the death of Flavian of Constantinople. This would cause the divide between the churches of Alexandria, or the Far East churches, and the more Western churches. The schism still exists today as the church in Alexandria is the Coptic church. They still propose that Jesus has only one nature, and that the second council of Ephesus is still a valid council. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, please like and subscribe. As always, God bless.